Overcoming the spirit of self-pity. Overcoming the spirit of self-pity. And our reference scripture will be Exodus 14, verse number 10 to 12. Exodus 14, verse number 10 to 12. The Bible says, And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. Verse number 11. And they said unto Moses, because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us? to carry us forth out of Egypt. Verse number 12. Is not this word that we, we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. Hallelujah. We see the children of Israel because of fear. You know, the, the, you know the, there was self-pity. The spirit of self-pity gripped them. Gripped them. And this is the time actually when uh, they were delivered from Egypt to the, into the wilderness and Pharaoh changed his might and followed them. So, as they were marching, so they see the, the, the Pharaoh soldiers coming after them. And they were terrified. And the Bible says that they cried out to the Lord. And they said to Moses, Was there no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? Hallelujah. So we see the spirit of self-pity had taken a root in the children of Israel. Sea of pity. They didn't see anything good <laughs> in them. They thought they would die in the wilderness. In fact, they chose, they, they had chosen actually even to stay in the in the in the in the you know in Egypt rather than being free because they thought they would die in the wilderness. So there was that spirit of pity that gripped them. What is that spirit of pity? We need to understand. The spirit of pity is actually, or say of pity is actually being a sympathetic sorrow for one suffering, distress, and unhappiness. So it's something to be regulated is you know that 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 spirit when it grips you when it comes inside you then you don't you don't see anything very important hallelujah so even life is not so important when you have that self-pity every human being is actually prone to self-pity self-pity eh? we were actually you and me were born with the self-centeredness Hmm? we kind of have that selfish self, self, uh, self, self-centeredness and um, it's like we pity ourselves every time because of our egos we pity ourselves every time yeah? and at, at a certain level it can be a spirit that can actually you know even uh, cause other problems in our lives See of pity. When individuals feel see of pity, they become immersed in their own problems and forget, forget, you know, others that others have similar problems. When you have that spirit of see of pity, you you think it's only you who is going through a, a, that kind of a problem. 
and, and, and you know kwa Kiswahili ni kujisikitikia unajisikitikia amen and you feel like there is nobody else suffering or who has ever suffered like you hmm? if you have that spirit of self pity you you ignore you ignore other things and look and focus unto yourself hallelujah for those people that suffer from 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 self pity eh? they stop feeling sorry for other people but they feel sorry for themselves it's actually feeling sorry for yourself self pity actually keeps a person paralyzed a person of self pity lives in great fear great fear a person with the, with 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 self pity you know suffers also from uncertainty uncertainty they suffer from doubt they suffer from anxiety because because that spirit has actually gripped them it is at work in them so may god help us hallelujah you look at the children of israel they actually were not thinking about anything else but about themselves because there was a kind of fear that entered them so self pity starts starts you know <clears throat> starts with the fear when fear comes in you then the aftermath will be things like doubt anxiety you know things like self pity and you you know and it's a very bad spirit it's a very bad spirit and we need to get rid of it a person with self pity pity lives with great fear hofu nyingi hofu nyingi hallelujah even at night actually there is actually a lot of insecurity a lot of insecurity they fear so much because because that's that self pity has actually gripped them and this is this is this is all in your mind or in our mind so self pity you know attacks our mind and may god help us so that we can be able to get rid of um self pity hallelujah because actually at, at times when you lack at times when you lack at times when you are sick eh, then you have that kind of and then you have self pity it becomes very hard for you to receive healing because already you know you have you are, you, you 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 are so sorrowful you are so sympathetic you are sympathizing with yourself so much until now you think <laughs> until now the power of faith cannot work in your life so may god help us to overcome the spirit of self pity in our lives some many people many of us have that spirit of self pity and we need to get rid of of it you look like person like prophet jonah prophet jonah felt sorry for himself for because eh, because god because because god showed mercy to the sinners that where he was being sent so he felt you know self pity he pitied himself so much amen he you know and 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 you know god had given jonah a chance a chance to work for him but here he felt you know because god is so merciful he felt self pity and there are many things that can make us you know have that spirit of self pity so and the cure for self pity is to quit looking at your inside you know you quit you quit sympathizing with yourself you quit looking at your inside and start looking outside hallelujah and start looking looking upon god who is more powerful god is mighty mighty mightier mightier than whatever you are going through so that is that brings a cure when you start now looking outside and not looking at yourself because when you look at yourself there are be sympathy, sympathy sympathy hallelujah self pity and things like that so self pity it's you know it's it's a heart of self centeredness i would say that and we need to quit you can also quit it by taking care of the people 
that are around you, looking at the people that are around you, and the Marquis, you need to know that, eh, that other people also are in this world, and other people are also undergoing, you know, the sufferings just like you. It is not only you. Iyo kujisikitikia, uwe ukijua ya kwamba, ata wada watu wengine, amba wanaishi katika urumwengu huu, pia wanapitia mambo. Wanapitia mambo. Sasa uwache utoke kuangalia, kujiangalia ndani, na kujisikitikia, na uangalia pia wada watu wengine, ujue ya kwamba, wanapitia pia, hallelujah, wako katika urumwengu. They are not immune to suffering. They are not immune to the things of the world. Bwana Yesu asifuwe sana. I don't know whether we are, we, we, you are falling. Amen? The Bible says, the Bible says actually in Psalms 37, verse number 1 and 2. Psalms 37, verse number 1 and 2. The Bible says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Fret not, fret not thyself because of evil doers. Yeah? Hallelujah. So, because in everything, God will take care of us. God will take care of you and me. So, don't be envious against even the work of, workers of iniquity. Kwa sababu mungu anatushugulikia zote. Wewa mungu anakushugulikia na anashugulikia wale wengine. Unaenda kujipea ngufu katika buwana. Ukiangalia kama Dawudi wakati 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 sikrag ilikuwa ilishomeka eh? even the others the soldiers wanted to stone this man they wanted to stone this man but instead of being gripped by the spirit of self pity what did he do he encouraged himself in the lord the things that are happening in this world you need to encourage yourself in the Lord. Yale unapitia. Jipe ngufu katika buwana. Ukijua ya kwamba. Yeye ako na ngufu. Ako na uweza mwingi. Kukusaidia wewe. Na kunisaidia mimi. Buwana Yesu asifia sana. Let us, let, us, let us not always feel justified. Justified to look at ourselves only. To focus at ourselves only. Self pity says that we cannot do this because of this and that. That's what Peter Pe Pe tells you. Pe so Peter says, you know, you, you, are not, you are not strong enough to thrive uh, during corona. You are not strong enough. You're telling yourself that I'm not strong enough. You know, I cannot make it. You know, in July, in this cold month, I cannot make it. That is what Peter so Pe tells you. But you need to remove your eyes from yourself. You need to remove your eyes even from your problems and challenges and focus unto God who is able. Who is able. He is our strength. Hallelujah. He is our refuge in times of, of trouble. He is our refuge. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, even in, in, you know, in the times that we are needed. He is able to help each one of us. Yeah, Psalms 46. Psalm 46 is yeah? Psalm 46. Yeah. Yeah. Psalm 46, verse number one. Hallelujah. And instead of self-pity, know that God is your refuge and your strength and a present help in the time of trouble. Cease looking at yourself. Look up unto God who is able. Praise the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, you know, self-pity is a, actually a demonic spirit that prevents people from reaching their highest potential. You cannot reach your highest potential when you have self-pity. Self-pity will actually prevent you even from reaching your destiny. Hallelujah. We need to look up unto who this God because God is able. Mungu anawesa. Hallelujah. Actually, self-pity, it keeps our people locked, locked, you know, in, 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 in a kind of cocoon of selfishness or self-centeredness. Hallelujah. That you cannot see anything outside self. You cannot see anything outside you, outside you, outside you. But you need really to focus on the outside. Focus unto God. Hallelujah. Instead of focusing unto self. 
Hallelujah. A person with the sin of pity can never be an intercessor because intercessors pray for other people. So people, a person who has a, that spirit of self-pity, they will only pray for themselves because they don't see themselves making it. And they say, how do I pray for other people when, when, when I can when me, I'm suffering, when I'm suffering, hallelujah. They are like that because there is a lot of self-centeredness in them. There is a lot of selfishness in a person suffering from self-pity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's very hard, listen to me, for a person with self-pity to be healed. Hallelujah. It's, it's, and jealousy is a part of that pa person. A person with self-pity. Hataki kuona watu wengine wakinuka. Anasema, why that? Why, why not me? Hallelujah. Why you? Why not me? Because, because you are suffering from self-pity. Hata kushiba chakura. Mutu wakiwa na seo pete, inakuwa ngumu sana ye kushimba. Kwa sababu kila da, wakati, anaona hakitoshi. Anaona hizo chakura hakitoshi. Kwa sababu anachizikitikia. Anafikiria yeye hata shiba. Kwa na yesu wazifia sana. Hmm, hata akiwa mugojwa. Anafikiria wengine watapona na yeye awezi pona. Katika shure, eh, mutu wakiwa na seo pete, kila wakati na kujizikitikia kule. Hakuna kitu inaingia. Yeye ndiye anakuwaga mwisho kwa sababu ya sio pete Mungu atusaidie huyo roho wa sio pete azitukamate Bwana Yesu asifue sana sio pete he makes up you know God dependent haleluya he makes us people who depend on themselves you depend on yourself you don't want to depend on anybody else Bwana Bwana Yesu asifue sana unataka ku depend on yourself Hallelujah. There is a kind of jealous. You know, in a shikaka mutu wa siyo pete. Ya kwamba ataki ata kuhusika. Kuji husicha na wale watu wengine. Kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe dio, dio mambo yote. Hallelujah. They focus on siyo. And they, they cannot focus on other people. May God help us. Hallelujah. So siyo pete is not an attack. Is not attractive. Somebody will say, pity. Even in the face, you will see that this man has trouble. Hallelujah. Because there is that kind of, of fear of future, fear of failure. Somebody will say, pity. They can never be satisfied with anything or for anything. In the name of Jesus, we cast out the spirit of self pity in Jesus' mighty name. Self pity is hard to break. We need God to come, to come and help us and deliver us from the spirit of self pity. But God is the able. You can't deliver yourself. You need God to deliver us from self pity. Even as I'm talking, Hallelujah. Maybe you are there and you have the spirit of self pity. You will know that you have the spirit of self pity. A person with the spirit of self-pity is very hard to give to others they don't because they don't consider others. They are very ungrateful in their first place. Hallelujah. And they cannot even be grateful to anybody. They cannot even give to anybody because they are self-dependent. Hallelujah. Anasema, anaangaliaga kesho yake. Kesho nitakula nini? Hii hainitoshi leo. Kesho nitakula nini? Bwana Yesu asifue sana. Sio pete is so bad. But God is able. God is able. So, we have to get rid of this spirit. Hii loho nilazima tushugulikie. Ambia muezako, roho wa sio pete nilazima tushugulikie. Katika china, ala isu kristo wa nazaret. Hallelujah. Even Mungu to say dear. Yeah. And you need to know every time that God is in, in control. Everything on this earth belongs to God. So you also belong to God. Usi kubari any time kuwa unajikisikitikia kila wakati. Mungu wako na wewe. Mungu anakupenda. Hallelujah. Let us not continue focusing on ourselves, focusing on, our, on the troubles that we have, focusing on, a, you know, look up unto God who is able to help us, who is able to deliver us. Hallelujah. God is the one who is in control. He owns everything, including your future. So you need not worry. Don't worry. God is able. 
Hallelujah. God is able to take care of you. God is able to take care of your incapacities. Hallelujah. God is able to take care of your condition. Do remove your eyes from self. Remove your eyes from the problems that you are in. Like the children of Israel. They, they, they only looked at their own problems. And it was very hard for them to believe that even God will come to deliver them. Hallelujah. The first we have just led. It was very hard. It was very hard. They looked at, at behind and they saw the soldiers of Pharaoh coming to attack them. So they didn't see anything, any, anybody. They didn't expect any deliverance. Why? Because they, they had self-pity. That actually they developed that self-pity from Egypt where they were enslaved. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us come out of self-pity and look as up unto God who is able to deliver us, who is able eh, to, to heal us, who is able to help us even in our time of trouble. Hallelujah. When you have self-pity, faith, faith doesn't work because self-pity self -pity comes from, the, from fear. Hallelujah. And fear is opposite of faith. There is no way, you know, faith will work in that kind of, in that kind of, of fear. So we need to look up unto God and he is able to help us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are issues here. And that, you know, there are, there are, I have some things here I want to discuss, you know, that can help us, you know, stay, um, Stay strong or grow strong even in times of our troubles, even in times that we, sh we, we just want to look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. So those feelings, they are feelings. You know, we need to be a people who are ready to face our feelings. If you are ready to face your feeling like a man, hallelujah, because be you need that boldness, boldness to face life to face the things, that, you know, the, the, the troubles that are coming. Because the life of a, Christ, in the life of a Christian is actually full of, of, of these kind of challenges. Challenges will be there. Hallelujah. Be, you know, be strong in the Lord. Have that strength and power in the Lord to face, to face, to face every kind of trouble that comes your way. Hallelujah. Hmm? And even when the trouble is coming, you need also to be a person who questions yourself. Is this, has this problem come to finish me? Hallelujah. Has this problem, what has it come to do? To come to teach me something? Or, hallelujah. And, but in everything, look at this God. Look up unto God. Because when you look unto God, there is no temptation that will be too big. There is no trouble that will be too big. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tuondoe macho yetu kwa kwetu sisi na tuya, tuangalie Mungu aliye na uweza. Hivyo utakuta sio peti ime, imepata kutoweka katika maisha yetu. We need to know that we have the power and authority. Hallelujah. Also, we have the power and authority in our souls. God has given us that power and authority to overcome any kind of spirit. Even the spirit of fear, the spirit of, 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 of anxiety. Hallelujah. The spirit, even the spirit of worry. God has given us that power to overcome those, you know, you know, all, all those. Hallelujah. You need to face, hallelujah. You need to face, you know, any kind of challenge. Because you, are, you have the power that God has given unto you. And you are not alone every time. Doesn't God say that he will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. Know that God is together with you always. Hallelujah. Don't, don't just look at, at your trouble. Don't look at your problems. Hallelujah. Know that there is a God who is ready to help you. Hallelujah. The other thing I would want to say, you know, if you want to expel uh, the spirit of self pity, it is also very important for us to look at others. Look, look at others, and you can extend a hand to other people. Because when you extend a hand to other people, you will have no time, hallelujah, to look at yourself. 
Hallelujah. If you can sacrifice something for a neighbor, something for somebody, hallelujah, then that spirit of self-pity will not grip you. Why? Because you have at least, you know, I have at least something to do with somebody else. A person with self-pity has no time for other people. So when you practice, you practice, uh, you know, being, uh, being grateful to other people or, or, or sharing something with other people, then you will find that you are concerned. You are not focusing so much on show, but you are focusing on the need or the need of other people. Hallelujah. You can also be a person who prays for other people like Job. Job, when he prayed for other people, see how Peter did not grip him. Let's be a people who also pray for other people. Because when you pray for other people, you focusing, you are focusing unto their prob problem more than you are focusing unto yourself. And the spirit of self pity will disappear from you. The other thing is, let's practice gratitude to thank other people, to thank God. When you do that, you're looking at other people. You're not actually every time looking and focusing into yourself. Because the problem comes when you continue focusing into, into yourself. Hallelujah. The other thing I want to say here, yeah, do not be a complainant. When you learn to be in a complainant box, Every time you are complaining, every time you are complaining, then the spirit of self-pity will not leave you. Because every you look at a person who is complaining, many people who complain are so selfish. Hallelujah. Yeah. So and, and they are gripped by the spirit of self-pity. So if you if you want to get rid of this spirit, then be a person who doesn't complain every time. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifuwe sana. E kulalamika. Kela wakati. Wana kuwa ni mutu ya kulalamika. E, watu wa kulalamika. Wana jipenda sana. Hallelujah. And the other thing is, be a person who doesn't have a lot of excuses. Excuses. Hallelujah. A person who has a lot of excuses are very selfish. They cannot do something. They don't want to do things. They have a, a multiple of excuses. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, you have an excuse every time. Then self pity will never leave you. So may God help us as even we as we 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 we, we, we practice this kind of these things. They will help us to come out of sp the spirit of self pity. The other one maintain an optimistic outlook. Optimistic outlook. Ya kwamba wewe ni mtu wa kusema kuonaga kuonaga mazuri, kuonaga mambo inawezekana. Hallelujah. Because all things are possible in God. Eh? Hakuna kitu impossible kwa Mungu wetu. Kwa hivyo uwe ukijua hivyo. Okay, mtu ambaye anajua ya kwamba Mungu anaweza, hawezi endelea kujisikitikia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Angalia Bile mungu ametenda katika maisha Maisha yako Na maisha ya wengine Kuna mungu binguni Wana yesu asifuwe sana Kwa hivyo uwache kuangalia tu You know ya kwamba mambo hayawezi kuwa mazuri You are tu Kwa mungu hakuna kitu kigumu Hata haya mambo haba unaona ni mazitu Yataenda kuwa sawasawa Ukienda kwa mungu Ukiachia mungu as the Bible says, come unto me, O you who labor, and I have heavy laden, and I will give you less. Hallelujah. Ukitafuta pumuziko kwa buwana every time. Uo kimuangalia, uyo mungu, utatoka kwa spirit hiyo ya seo piti. Hallelujah. The other thing is, build your mental strength. Build your mental strength. Hallelujah. By developing, you know, your mental strength. You are building your physical strength. Hallelujah. How do we build uh, your, our mental strength? Mental strength. By reading, by studying. Hallelujah. By studying, by exploring, by research. Do those kind of things. And then you will, you will focus on other things, but not self. 
when you when you start studying, then you are improving your mental state. And when you improve your mental state, your 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 your, your mental capability will be will be enlarged. Hallelujah! Hey, your scope of understanding and knowledge will be will be enlarged, and you will be able. You'll be able to see other people, not only you every time. And the spirit of self-pity will have no room in your life. So may God help us so that we can, we can come out of that spirit of self-pity. And it is possible that God is able to help each one of us. Like, like you remember the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Mm? Even at that particular moment... Eh, that they were gripped by COPT. Eh? Eh? Moses comes and tells them, hallelujah, the Egyptians that you see, you will never see them again. So he, he, he assured them through faith, he assured them that God is able, even in that particular situation, God is able. Even in your situation today, God is able. Do not come out. Come out of self-pity because God is able to remove you from that quagmire, to remove you from that that, that, that financial, uh, financial trouble, just like he did for the children of Israel who are down, down with the spirit of self-pity. Hmm? God came and helped them. The same God is able to come and help us. Even in our times of trouble, let us remove our eyes from our trouble. Let us remove our eyes from ourselves, from ourselves. Let us remove that one and look up unto God. Actually, even Moses, he actually told the children of Israel, he, the Egyptians that you see, he actually allowed them to see even those, those Egyptians that were coming again, against them. But he tried to inculcate faith upon them and it worked. Hallelujah. Let practice the word of God every day. Let us see the power in the word of God every day. And we will come out of that spirit of self-pity. And we will make it in this life as we remove our eyes from our troubles and look up unto God. Because God is able. The Bible says, come unto, come unto me, all you have. Are or you are heavy laden. Sometimes we put our we have read ourselves. We have read ourselves by believing in ourselves, by looking at only uh, only you know uh, our you know our inside. Let's look outside. When you look outside, you will see what God can do because God is able. I want us to rise up on our feet and let us pray for ourselves. As we sing this song, this song today, let's go before the Lord because we know God is able. Wherever you are, as we sing this song today unto the Lord, this worship song unto the Lord, then we will go into prayer and let pray for yourself. Look happen to God because he is able to remove you from your quagmire. He is able to remove you from every kind of challenge in your life so that you can remove your eyes. Remove your eyes from your trouble. Remove your eyes from your